Well, the idea seemed like fantasy 20 years ago. Take the brightest grads from the best colleges and send them into America's neediest urban and rural classrooms. This year, Teach for America is the top employer for grads from Brown, Georgetown, Vanderbilt, a dozen other great schools. They get so many applications from Harvard and Yale, they have to be more selective than Harvard and Yale. But is the program working? And why is such a noble idea so controversial? Jackson, Louisiana is one of those small towns with relatively few people and even fewer opportunities. A prison and hospital provide the best jobs, and college is a dream fulfilled by only about one in seven. But at Jackson Middle School, change is in the air. Since last year, we had like students that didn't really care about like anything, and this year we have students that really care about their grades, and we have a principal that really cares. High five. That principal is Allison El Kubi, the product of a fine East Coast education. What did you think you wanted to do with your life? Um, I thought about getting a PhD in French literature. I thought about being a, a nanny in France for a couple of years after college. Instead, she signed on with Teach for America and accepted a two-year stint as an English teacher in the Louisiana Sticks. Nine years later, she's still here. Now a principal, doling out lunch line hot sauce, keeping an eye on the dress code. No, nope. tucking your shirt. And today, she's sharing some of the best state test results the school has seen in years. You totally exceeded all of our expectations. It is exactly what TFA founder Wendy Kopp imagined as a Princeton senior 20 years ago. And I had been very focused on this issue of educational inequity and one day just thought, why aren't we being recruited as aggressively to teach in our country's highest poverty communities as we were being recruited to work on Wall Street? So she goes after Ivy Leaguers and rich donors with equal passion and grim stats. Of the 13 million kids living in poverty, half will drop out and the other half will graduate high school with eighth grade skills. As a result, plenty of desperate school districts have embraced these young idealistic reformers. Others, not so much. We don't need any educational mercenaries coming in on their white horses for a couple of years and not being committed to the general cause of long-term educational reform and improvement. Teachers unions in Detroit and Boston are among the critics who say TFA should be short for teach for a while, a way for do-gooders of privilege to pad resumes while taking spots from certified professionals. TFA core members are paid a starting teacher's salary after just five weeks of training. Five weeks does not seem like an incredible amount of time. It, you know, when you're in it, it's a lot of hours. The first day teaching, I got here and the kids came and they were a little crazy. Uh, but you learn very quickly how to like maintain composure amidst chaos. Laura Shoemaker graduated with a biology degree from Georgetown two years ago and now teaches eighth grade science at Jackson. I can't imagine that somebody's here you know, every day for two years just because they want to put one line on their resume. But also, Teacher America teachers are effective. And last year with my seventh graders in my first year of teaching, they had the biggest growth of any subject in any grade in the middle school. While Laura is off to medical school next year, two of her fellow core members are staying at Jackson for a third and a fourth year. TFA says two thirds of its 14,000 alumni ultimately stay in education bitten by the reform bug, invigorated by the power of high expectations. You going to college? Where do you want to go? Southern. Southern? What do you want to study? I want to be a pediatrician. Fantastic. I like kids. <laughs> the conversation's completely changed from people believing that there's no way to provide an excellent education for kids growing up in poverty to people believing actually we know it can be done. The question now is, can they do it to scale? This year's record class, about 4,100, is really a drop in the national bucket, but they are expanding out there, and they point to a study by the Urban Institute, a, a nonpartisan group that says, you know, teachers in North Carolina, TFA teachers, were more effective than veteran certified teachers. So it, it really stirs up this debate about yeah. whether it's That'll an art, whether it can be taught, you know, uh, just after just five weeks. Um, but you, you can't help but love their passion and, uh, and, and the desire to get out there and roll up their sleeves and make right. it work, because that's really what it is, good people.